Yay, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Bob Reese. Good welcome morning. to ETC and oh, welcome thank, to thank a chilly Gilmer County day. Yes, it is. Isn't it weird? The weather is really crazy because it's going to be 85 on Sunday. Right. And today, I'll just tell you all, I don't have socks on. My toes are cold. <laughs> my hands are cold, but my heart's warm, and that's right. all that matters. Right. So speaking of warm hearts, Glory Bound Ministries, Right here, right now, um, you are here today to talk about an event that you're going to do on April the 30th. That's right. Is that right? Right. And April the 30th, I think, is a better choice for the day than in the fall, don't you? Well, we hope so. Uh, be it's near more Mother's daylight. Day. Yeah. yeah. Plus, near it's Mother's near Mother's Day, day. Mm -hmm. uh, which is cool. Be, be a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. uh, be, be lighter longer so mm -hmm. they can get back home and right. uh, before it gets dark. And uh, we may even move the uh, well, I started saying we moved the time, but we didn't. Yeah. God moved the time. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, well, I don't like driving after dark. Right. It's it's weird. I have a, a car that has these old dark tinted windows in it. Right. The good Lord willing, I'm changing that real soon because I don't like that darkness. Um, dark brings on depression to some people. Right. And uh, daylight brings on happiness. And right. so I think everything good ought to happen in the spring. So you're doing your widows and widower meal in the spring now. Yeah, and uh, they should be out. We should be through by just a little after 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And it'll mm -hmm. still be daylight enough to drive for yeah. an hour or so. Right, that's so, cool. Uh, I'm glad you're doing that. Yeah, that's I, th awesome. I think it'll be better. Yeah. And we have to say a big shout out to all the ladies, Lita and Vicki, number t one and two, who, right. who basically administer overseeing of this. Right. And then volunteers from your church and different people right. who just step up to the plate to provide a meal and a hug right. to widows and widowers. Right. And this is, this is a free event. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't charge anybody anything. We don't take up a love offering. Uh, it is to just give back to these folks who have lost, uh, you know, a loved one, a spouse. Uh, it could be someone, and we've had them in their 30s, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. all the way up. You know, that age is not a factor in this right. event. Yep. Uh, if you've lost your husband or wife, we'd love to have you come in. We want you to come in. We're going to serve you a full course meal with dessert and coffee afterwards. Glory Bound is going to do a full concert, and then after the concert, as you go out the door, we want to give you a gift mm -hmm. that you can take with you as a <coughs> uh, memory uh, to have with you as you leave. And we just want to love on you and, and let you know that uh, we know you've lost your loved one, but, but you're still not alone. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. God's with you for the number one. And then the community still loves you. Right. And uh, Sherry Martin uh, had a big, big, major role in, in this coming about. And uh, had it not been for the story that you told, we wouldn't have known to do this. And, and God has just blessed it. He's blessed us. Uh, by doing it, and our grandkids get involved they in it. They love it. Oh they yeah, love it. and and, the, yeah. and those folks, especially the older. Uh, widows, uh, you know, they really get into them kids, you know. <coughs> so it's just a great, fun, blessed spirit feeling. And to night. enjoy a meal with fellowship. Right. Because yeah. often, I, I saw my grandmother do it. She would make a bologna sandwich and sit in front of the TV by herself and have a meal. Right. And most of the time, not even sit at the table because you don't like to sit at the table alone. Right. So it's, sit it's, in front it's, of the TV it's, it's warm it. and it's fellowship right. and friendship and amazing kindness right. so yeah yeah well let me tell folks some of the other things you do because mm -hmm. he don't want to brag on himself but i will brag on him okay glory bound ministries in 1987 his wife he and his wife linda began to promote a benefit concert that they call the white christmas concert and i've done that for years it's it's amazing they held their 35th annual concert november 2021 and they bring gospel groups in and they sing and they raise money for the children in Cherokee County who would not have a Christmas without this. Right. And you served over 300 families this year? 700, over 770. 770 families. Yes, now think about that, y'all. This is. 300 families. Wow, wow. 
And the partners who help with this, Children's Haven and CASA, a children's advocacy organization, helps protect and promote aid for children currently in foster care. That's right. And these children have not done nothing wrong. Nothing. They're in foster care because of living circumstances. Right. So these children deserve a break. Right. And then Sunlight Ministries provides financial aid and food to families right. in need in Cherokee and surrounding counties. Right. So that is providing a meal, and right. and often people's budget doesn't go through the month. Right. Especially so, now. yeah, especially now. <clears throat> and Serve International is a part of that. They provide the food to the people in need, and Glory Bound concerts and church events includes the boxes of food provided by Serve. As you do events, you share right. that food. Right. So not, that is so cool. Yeah, not at every church service that we go mm -hmm. to, but uh, you know several that we've already done and we'll be doing more through the year. Mm -hmm. And Serve is the one that provided the 300 meals at the White Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there were 770 children that we helped with their Christmas school supplies, clothing, uh, and then 300 families got a, got a full box of food. Mm -hmm. Each box has 25 meals for four people. That's awesome. So it's not a it's not a small awesome. box. It's a big box. And and Glory Bound Ministries, <clears throat> their, their statement of faith says, leading people to Jesus, one song, one box of food, and one helping hand at a time. Yeah. So that's what it's about. Yeah. You know, um, life is supposed to be about giving back and doing for others. And I think I've learned a lot from you. I've seen a lot of things you do. One of the things that <clears throat> I've learned doing television here for all these years is things change yeah. and things go back. And so right now we're going to go back, and, and y'all got the date wrong because this was 2008 when Donovan was on. So it was 14 years ago, 14 years ago, this kid sat here, and we're going to share this today because full circle is happening. Donovan Jones is back on the crew. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. I'm. <clears throat> it's beyond amazing to me. I got a phone call yesterday, and he said, hey, hey, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm excited. So here we go back to 14 years ago when Donovan Jones and a beautiful young lady sat down and co-hosted the opening of the show. Here we go. Good morning and welcome to North Georgia Now Today. I'm Sherry Martin at 17 with my co-host, Bill Sinyard at 16. Today we will be talking about what kids are doing in today's world. Allison, we got an email from Allison who will be in a play, Alice in Wonderland, on Saturday, March 29th at 7.30 at the Blue Ridge Community Theater. $10 adults, $5 children. We have a flyer from Appalachian Children's Emergency Shelter presenting the Spring Roundup at the 74 Ranch on Saturday, March 12th, 1 to 5. We have a birthday cake from Dairy Queen, a Chillibration birthday cake at, in Blue Ridge. And we have an email from Cody Jones, who is wants to say hey to Angie Jones, who is in the hospital. And she might come back tonight, but we're not sure. And we'd just like to say our prayers are with you. All right, sounds good. Um, also, we probably want to think about Josh Abercrombie, who's also in the hospital. And um, I would also like to thank all of my teachers at school, and especially Ms. Dillard, for helping us with the um, mock trial. And um, we'd also like to say, April Fools, when we come back, Bill and Sherry will really be here. Now to the community calendar. Okay, you got to see Donovan Jones 14 years ago. In the near future, you're going you're gonna to see Donovan Jones right here on the set as he begins working back here. He's going to be at ETC. He produced in the garden um, the Lord's house where we went out to all the communities. He and his mom and dad went out and took pictures of churches everywhere. I went out and took pictures of churches everywhere. And we put together this amazing thing. It's now on YouTube, and you can see it in its entirety in YouTube. And you also saw the veterans special that we've done. And in honor of veterans everywhere today, we're going to end the program with one of Donovan's pieces that he produced many, many years ago. 
And it was after a trip that we went up to Brentwood, Tennessee and interviewed Donna Fargo. And that was just such a great, great memory and a great, great time. <clears throat> so we're coming full circle. Donovan's going to be here. He's going to be here. And, and we hope, I've chosen somebody else that I want him to, to be his cohort. So we'll see how that goes. But. But you know, in life, you see life goes full circle and right. things go back to the way they should be and, and then all is right in the world. And, right. and we're seeing some of that. Right. You have seen amazing things happen through the ministries that you do. And, and I wanna mention something that's gonna happen on April the 22nd, because Marriage on the Rock is very, very important. Uh, this is um, a seminar, an event about marriage. If you're thinking about getting married, if you're married, if you're having problems, if you need direction, if you need something to help you get through a rough spot, Marriage on the Rock. It is sponsored by the Rock Community Church in Copper Hill, Tennessee. And for more information, you can pick up the phone and call 772. 359-7697 and this is several years they've been having this event and it's always very very successful it's a packed house so if again if you would like to be involved in it please pick up the phone and call 772-359-7697 and see this you ever been to a soapbox derby I have, when I was a boy. Yes, there you go. Well, soapbox derbies are still a big deal, and on April the 30th in Fannin County, there's going to be a soapbox derby, and it's going to raise money for kids in Fannin County. And if you want to be a part of that, you can get online. They have a Facebook page and check it out, and there will be over $1,000 in prizes, and we would love for you to be a big part of that. So there you go. Good. It's going to be nice to get back to normal. We've had a little bit of non-normalcy lately because things have been a bit crazy. We had a, a couple of young guys who had been with us a long time who chose careers in Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. And so we lost them both. And um, to prepare and to get somebody back in here who knows the ropes, and Donovan went to SCAD. So he is well-educated, well-promoted, well-smarted up, and he's gonna mm -hmm. be with us. And then yeah. uh, another young man that I hope is gonna be with us is all educated and smarted up. And so we're, <laughs> we're gonna get it going, we're gonna get it going. Awesome. Well, let me tell you something we're gonna share today in honor of you, because you told me one time how much you loved the Joy Masters and Jerry Forrester. Right. He went to be with Jesus. Yes. But there's an event that happened, was it last weekend to honor his memory? They had a tribute uh, singing last weekend. I unfortunately was not able to go. We were busy and and with glory bound and just just couldn't go but tell me what he meant in your life oh uh, number one good friend mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, he was a mentor uh, we talked on the phone at least once a week sometimes twice mm -hmm. uh, if i didn't call him he'd call me or right. you know and, and straight we, up good straight guy straight up yeah How's the quartet? How's the boys? You know, mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. uh, Bob, da 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 da, and and he was so supportive of the widow widower. Mm -hmm. He said, Bob, of all the things you've done, uh, that is probably the most best event mm -hmm. you've ever done. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, he, he was just a good friend, just a good yeah, pal. Good guy, good yeah. guy. So we're going to go back many, many years ago as Jerry Forrester came to visit, and I can't remember the gentleman's name who was with him that day, but they came to visit and they were talking about a Joy Masters concert, and Joy Masters is still going strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know that they're doing as many events as they were doing. We ain't either, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. because of the COVID. But it's starting right. to open back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It changed uh, the dynamics of visiting churches. Yeah, yeah. His, his son, Billy, uh, who grew up on the Joy Masters bus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Tim Had Jennings. his teeth on them tires on that bus, didn't yeah, he? <laughs> and then Tim Jennings, who sings uh, tenor, uh -huh. has been with the group. 30 years? 30 plus, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, years and they, they keeping it going and, yeah, and yeah. Uh, we got a we got a couple of events coming up with them uh i don't know that we'll get into that today but the nine of quartets is coming up in may mm -hmm. uh, and they're, they're part of that and then in june we do a uh, joy Ma uh, glory bound joy masters 
uh, June. We started off Father's Day, but it got involved with Father's mm -hmm, Day. Mm -hmm. So we moved it off of Father's Day, so we just called it our June thing. Mm -hmm, so, uh, and where will it be held? Uh, the Father's Day will be at uh, Hickory Flat Fellowship mm -hmm. Church of God. Mm -hmm. That'll be in June, and then in May, the Nine of Quartets will be at Sioux Tally Baptist Church on Highway 120 toward Carswell. Mm -hmm. The other quartet that will be with us that night is uh, One by Faith out of uh, uh, Rock March, somewhere mm -hmm. noon and somewhere mm -hmm. down in there. Mm -hmm. But uh, good group of guys. Mm -hmm. And we have a viewer from Rock Mart who watches us, Miss Lois Chastain, yeah. who used to live here on Boardtown Road. and. Uh, a lot of days we went up that road in that red Dodge Coronet and it'd blow the horn at her and she said it would just tickle her heart to good to know that we were out enjoying yeah. these beautiful mountains. Yeah. There, there, there are changes in, yeah. in life and um, yeah. when she moved away from here I really, really missed the idea that I couldn't go by and visit with her, I couldn't spend time with her. I actually had her here on the show and she brought me homemade hominy uh -oh. and I will never forget I don't even like hominy so Boy, I, I do. told oh my gosh my daughter loved it she'd eat uh -huh. two jars of hominy oh, she yeah. loved it put some butter on it yeah yeah well Miss Lois is uh, she brought me homemade hominy and I never seen that so so it's just we have some great memories of people that are not living here now or have gone on to be with the Lord but yeah. they changed our life and we're gonna go yeah. now to just a little clip of Jerry Forrester as he visited with us because this was a long time ago, I think about 14 years ago. So here we go. Jerry, when you choose songs for the group to do, why would you pull a song that old out of the hat and do it again? Well, because it blesses a lot of people. Boy, does it bless a lot of people. It now, does. the first time I heard it was sitting in the church, you pastor, mm -hmm. Sunnyside Church of God. Yeah. And I hate to act dumb, you know, but I swear I had never heard that song. How many months ago was that? About three months? When have we done that, Brother Steve? Two, yeah, two months ago. Three, yeah. I had never heard that song. Where have I been? Under a rock well, somewhere, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but, but I was sitting there, and that was one of those crybaby days. Have you ever had one of those days? I sure have. Oh, yeah. that day. I was a crybaby. And you I used the whole a, box of napkin day. I did, I did, <laughs> I did. And, uh, and I have to say, Dad, gum, I got there after the hamburgers were put up because they said y'all cooked a lot of food oh, that well, day. We ate good, didn't was we? Was it, it homecoming was at good. church? Was it a homecoming? It was just, just a special day. We did the 4th of July. That's what it was, 4th of July mm -hmm. celebration, Patriarch's celebration. So we had all kind of food. Yeah. Ribs and hamburgers and hot dogs and potato salad and... And we pulled up after the fact. Yeah. Well, what were we thinking? What were we thinking? Now, has that church seen a lot of growth? We have. We've actually more than doubled the attendance, and uh, we're reaching lost people almost every Sunday now. Yep. We've had That's about great. 27 people come to faith in Christ, just baptized seven recently. Good. Good. It's exciting to see what God's doing. Now, Jerry, how long have you been a member there? All my life, nearly. <laughs> All your life. <coughs> well, no, we've been, uh, been involved. We've been married 53 years, and... When we started dating, I started going to Sunnyside. Really? Yep. Isn't that something? Yep. Well, I have the diplomats. The first time I heard them, it was funny because you know how you associate music with some churches? And I've never been to a church service at the Church of God. But for some reason in my mind, I thought, do y'all have really awesome music? Typically we do. Yeah. Because when I met Miss Rita, I said, do you have a Church of God background? She said, no, why? And I said, well, I just, your music sounds like you came from a very spiritual mm -hmm. church. So. Now, Jerry, um, when you choose the music you choose, do you go to these guys and say, we can do this, or let's try it, or do you say, this is the song we're going to do? No, being Steve, talk, the boys, they come up with songs that minister to them. Uh -huh. And just like this year, uh, Sunday week, we was over in uh, uh, Piedmont, and they got around the piano and started doing this Champion of Love. Uh -huh. And they just come up, I mean, it just blessed her, and like not got through it, just practicing it. I right. mean, this, it, it's hard to say you just go pick out songs, but uh, between all the boys, they hear something uh -huh. they want to do, and it, it just sort of comes together. Yeah. And Mike's good about hearing things that he thinks will go with it. It's mm -hmm. kind of like um, voices, um, voices in the throne. throne room. Right. Yeah. That was a message for... Yeah. Well, the potter and the clay. That right. was the message for Tim. Billy heard that song right. and yep. gave that yep. to him when his wife was going through cancer. Right. So, 
And well, we got a new CD coming out with all this on it. And yeah. let me tell you where you're going to be in just a couple of weeks. <laughs> LJ. You're going to be in LJ. Did y'all know that? Right. Going to well, be up on you the hope. calendar. Yay. Thank you so much. I hope that y'all enjoyed getting to see Jerry Forrester. He was a good friend to you. He was yes. a good friend to gospel music. Yeah. And his legacy lives on. He said there that day he had been doing music 53 years. By yeah. the time he passed, he had been doing music 60 years. Yeah, a long time. That is incredible. That is incredible. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, the Joy Masters are one of those groups that still will show up for benefits. They will. And that's amazing. They have right. given back and given back and given back. Right. And we've done, I don't know how many benefit singings with, with Joy Masters. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, they, they just, uh, they give back. They're tempting us with piano music. We got a piano <laughs> sitting over here, and can you play it? I can't yeah, play it. So I play. Oh, and Donovan can play the piano. That's right. I, I forgot missed. about that. I yeah. took, I took lessons when I was a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I, I can't, no, I can't. Mm -mm. Music is not, um, can't do it. Okay, today let's let's invite and let's share and let's tell widows and widowers we have a great event happening for them. Yes. April the 30th. Right. And they come at 4.30 for yeah, dinner. Yeah, seat, seating starts at 4.30. Uh, we serve you at 5.00. And then uh, somewhere just before six, Glory Bound will start a uh, concert. And uh, then after the concert, as you as you leave, we'll dismiss. Uh, we'll give you a gift as you go out the door. I'm not going to tell you what it is, mm -hmm. uh, but it's. Uh, I th we think it's a nice gift. Yeah. And, but that's not what it's about. It's just about us being able to love on you and. And uh, letting you love back on us, because it's it's just as important to us mm -hmm. to do this. Uh, we get a we get such a blessing out mm -hmm. of it. And the food, I know that Lita and Vicky have been involved in it from day one. Right. Um, Vicky being one of your cousins, let's talk a little bit about a program she's on now on WATC, and she's doing great. Yes, uh, yeah. keep singing. Keep singing. Yeah, keep with singing. Melvin Clout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I am so proud of my cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, That's she's awesome. She's a sweetheart. <clears throat> Sweet get, lady. Yeah, this weekend I did, she, it was her first mm -hmm. uh, time to be there, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I miss both of them. They're yeah. on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I get Proud to watch, of I get, Oh, yeah, I get to watch the <coughs> reruns. Yeah. So. Well, for folks who don't know, WATC is a Christian channel based out of Atlanta, and actually Heart of the Home was started here as a little short segment and then went to WATC and WGGS in Greenville. Yeah. Those stations are still doing what they've always done. They have prayer power. They have people who can call in. You can have mm -hmm. prayer. They, um, you know, they, they administer goodness through their programming and right. that's what they're looking for is right. good programs and, and nowhere can you deliver goodness better than a good gospel song. Yeah. Uh, now, you gave me a CD, and you said this is the CD that is the best y'all have ever done, the best song I, choice. I think it's the best song choices of any any CD we've done. Uh, it's just it's just got a good upbeat feeling to it. Mm -hmm. The world needs a little upbeat right now. The world needs that. And there's one song <laughs> on here called uh, Small Lonely Hill. Uh, it's, a, it's a slow song. Mm -hmm. uh, it talks about God when God was creating. Uh, he created everything out of nothingness. I mean, there was nothing, <coughs> and He created everything out of nothingness. And and He had to, and He knew, because God knows everything, that He had to create a hill, a tree that would be formed into a cross. The minerals in the ground that would be formed into iron for the spikes that drove that would drive be driven into his only son's body mm -hmm. to hang on that tree, that cross, on that lonely hill mm -hmm. for you and me. Wow. Wow. And and the kind of picks on the emotions that God may have had. And who wrote this song? Uh, who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's on here, but it's on the inside. Okay. Uh, it was uh, produced by uh, Day Spring Music. 
but I can't remember the person that wrote it. But it's uh, it's a great song. Uh, and if y'all get a chance to, to go to our website or iTunes, Pandora, we're on all of that. Are you on Spotify? Spotify, yeah, yeah we're on all that stuff. Ask me how yeah. much I know about all that. Shenanigans. I, I know nothing. I, I if it wasn't you, for Stephen. YouTube is kind of like, <laughs> I, I know YouTube, yeah. but the rest of that stuff is a little bit intimidating to me. Yeah. So here it says, um, the, mm, 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 okay, it doesn't say who yeah. wrote it. Yeah, yeah. It should. Well, I don't think it does. Mm. But we'll figure it out. But again, <laughs> Day Springs is one of those um, BMI controlled, right? Yes, yep, it yep, is. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So, well, and again, it's it's a song that will touch your heart. Yeah, and so, did you bring on. us something we can play today? I did. Got a couple. Of the first one they're going to do features that song. Mm -hmm. And my son Scott put it on a, a video of three crosses on a hill. There you go. Uh, but listen to the words of the song. And then, and then, there's no way I'd give my son, you know, mm -hmm. and God gave his son, mm -hmm. not just for our bodies, <coughs> not just for us, but to redeem mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. sins. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and God created feelings same as he created the world and the mm -hmm. universe mm -hmm. so he created the love and and that even he has mm -hmm. for us and, and the love he most assuredly had for his own son there you go well here we go we're going to share a great song and a tribute uh, done by scott reese so here we go yeah. stood in the stillness and he spoke these creative words let there be light and let the heavens appear he made the oceans the earth and the seas and with his mighty hand he scooped out the canyons and with his finger traced courses for the rivers he made the mountains to stand tall and still but then a slight trace of sadness came into his eye as he made a small lonely hill. Then he said, let us make man in our own image and give him
from that small lonely hill. Now I thank God for his rivers, and I thank him for his mountains and his heavens. How my heart always thrills. But when I walk into that city where the angels all praise him, I will thank him for that small. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi, not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. scorn reviling the son of god they come to crucify beneath the shadow of the cross as it rose against the sky 
If that didn't tear you up or touch your heart, you better call Kevin Roper and order a hearse. That is powerful. Scott did that video Woo. for us too, Oh my gosh. Wow, wow, that is powerful. And again, y'all, this will be on YouTube. If you are watching us on Facebook, right. you don't get to see the cool stuff we do. So you need to get ETC3 television and you need to have this, um, you know, this is local stuff. And, right. and we think about, um, it is Easter week, how appropriate that we could share this on right. Easter week because that tomb is empty. Yeah. That yeah. tomb is empty. That's why I chose those two videos. Awesome. Because, you know, we just went, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. No, I'm not. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Woo, woo. Yeah. We talked about a while ago about the hill, you know, and without that hill, uh, we'd have no hope. Mm -hmm. And without that hill, there'd be no Easter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did it because he loved us. He didn't want puppets. He wanted us to love him back. Yep, yep. And uh, then that, that video there, uh, Scott did that for me, and we actually got that from the uh, Mormon church. Uh, and And, Beautiful. you know, uh, got permission to do this and Woo. and uh, it's just a something else that's yeah, good something and, and Brad, else Brad as something. always it it just does not seem real that he is no longer among the living but right. he is leading a choir he you know it's funny because he was directing a program at church yeah. a big program at church and he had big plans and he had big 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 life you know right. and then he was gone yeah. he was gone in an instant he, he co-wrote uh, the last uh, three or four uh, Atlanta Christmas musicals mm -hmm. that was performed at uh, Woodstock First Baptist. Right. Uh, Glory Bound, uh, we were fortunate to be involved in two of those. Uh, and he wrote, they, he and his co-writers wrote all of the songs 
I don't know all of them, but most of them, and wrote all <laughs> the music, all the orchestration, and everything, and they were big. Such a talent. Yeah, they, it wasn't just piano and the bass guitar. Yeah, I mean, this yeah. was full hundred member of yeah, orchestra. orchestra. Yeah, yeah. Uh, songs and uh, just so so talented. So talented, yeah. and and so gone so soon, and we've yeah. seen that. Now yeah. you are getting back to normal because sadly COVID destroyed church membership as yeah. far as people showing up at the church, but it also yeah. opened a new avenue to online churches right. because we have seen so many people now who, you know, maybe they have the flu instead of going to church and giving it to everybody else, they're staying at home watching because they're able to now because right. our First Baptist Ball Ground is online now with church every Sunday morning. We just, they take it down right before altar call, but then right. they also do an invitation to those who are watching online before they do the altar call. So. I think it's it's not only changed the way we do things, it's opened it up too. Right. So something that was meant to shut us down kind of opened us up. Right. Well, the, the, a lot of the elderly people, you know, mm -hmm. uh, before were coming sporadically. You right, know? right. It's a and cold winter, miserable day. You don't want to get out. Yeah, and, and we've done that. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Uh, but now you can watch it online and and maybe you want to, maybe you want to hear a, a, another preacher, mm -hmm, you know, besides mm -hmm. your pastor. There's mm -hmm. many of them online mm -hmm, now. Mm -hmm. Most churches now are doing that. And uh, yeah, I think uh, what started out to be a devil thing, you know, God can, God uses it, you yeah, know, to, yeah, yeah. to uh, I mean, over the years, I've heard of many, many people that were saved listening to the, watching the Billy Graham crusade. Mm -hmm. They they couldn't be at that crusade, but right. they were watching it on TV right. and got saved. Right. And uh, one of the guys I went to school with, who is now dead and gone too, uh, Lamar Bell, uh, W.F. Bell, uh, not Lamar, uh, got saved watching the Billy Graham and become mm -hmm. a pastor. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. remember sitting at home watching Channel Two and Billy Graham at the Atlanta Stadium doing an event. And I said, Mama, why couldn't we go to it? Why didn't we go? Because we sat there mesmerized watching right. every night. Right. But we didn't get to go to it. And I said, you could just see people flocking out of the stands and hitting that ball field. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So, so internet ministry or ministry of the media is not new. It's just taken a whole new form. Right, right. And, and uh, God's using it. Uh, Absolutely. You know, we, I didn't really appreciate it to start with, mm -hmm. but uh, seeing the numbers and, and people talking about it, mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And what was meant to destroy didn't do it. Yeah, yeah. Taking, yeah. taking something and turning it around to his good, and, mm -hmm. and of course that's what he does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got tickled. I was reading somebody's particulars, and she's somebody I adore. I just love her to death, and they live up in Blairsville. And, and she said, we're looking for a church. And she said all, she had all these particulars, and, and one of them was she likes contemporary music, which surprised me about her because I didn't know that. And I said, oh, that's interesting. Well, my dear friend Denise uh, Caldwell, who is she and her husband co-pastor Harbor Ministries up in McKaysville, Denise can do any kind of music. And she grew up on the Southern traditional hymn, you know, what I like. And then she went into the little bit contemporary. And, and I get so tickled because you can blend it together. Right. But I'm still that old school girl. I still want those same. And I told them, that, I said, I could pick 15 songs and we could do them all year long, just right. those 15 songs. Right. But music has a way of opening your eyes to many things. Mm -hmm. and, and the music, like you shared today, it just opened our eyes to that cross was real, that tomb was real. Right. This is the truth. And, and, right. and when you can see it like we did up close and personal, it's very emotional. Right. And so the media has brought in such an array of different things that, that right. say, hey, look at this, this is real. This right. was 2,000 years ago, and we're able to put it out there for you to see what it was like for Jesus. Right. Even our the kids in our orphanage up in the Andes Mountains of Peru, uh, they just now are getting back into school. Wow. And uh, so they were able to, to watch videos and, and, and still do their daily Bibles and reading and studies mm -hmm. and all that. 
through the through the media, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, so I'm I'm thankful to God for that Absolutely. because they are isolated. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and they, they just weren't getting anything, you mm -hmm. know, medicine mm -hmm. or anything. Yeah. So. Uh, <clears throat> well, and, and we learned about media when I first came here and I was going out to your yard, your houses, and I was visiting your gardens and I was taking pictures of your gardens and then I gave them to Donovan and I said, here's all this stuff I want you to create in the garden and he chose the music. Right. Well, he plays the piano, so he chose some piano music, he chose some uh, hymnals, he chose some, and, and we had a great variety of music for everybody and I can't tell you how many times we have played in the garden and it's your community, your yards, your corn growing, your beans growing, and, and Mr. Davenport, who passed away recently, I showed up in his garden one day, and I said, do you mind if I take pictures? And I got down on the ground, and I was taking a picture of okra just coming up out of the ground. And I can remember how amazing it looked after Donovan put it together, and it was just okra growing, but it just looked so amazing. And, and that's what you do, that's what the media does. It gives you an opportunity. Now we have high definition cameras. Oh boy, do we have oh, yeah. high definition cameras. So yeah. our age, you know. But, but things have changed. And I, the first program I did here at ETC was 16 and a half years ago and it was Flavors of the South with Rhonda Thomas. And it was so, I was so intimidated because Hans Rufert did the two segments before me and then I did two after Hans. And we were up in Blue Ridge with a, a full crew, took the truck up there, and we did it on site at her home. And I can remember being so nervous, and I said, what am I gonna talk about? And I've been talking for 16 years now, <laughs> so I guess it worked, I guess it worked. But it was just crazy because that media, to me, was just so advanced that we could go out. And today, it is way more advanced than that. It is way more oh, advanced yeah. than that. Oh. So it's it's amazing what has happened in the last 16 years. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, we talked about it earlier, the uh, WATC TV mm -hmm. 57 mm -hmm. in Atlanta. Jerry Goff was... was uh, Had a great program on there. Yeah, and he and his wife... With Jan, Jan. yep, yep. And, uh, of course, Jerry was a master. Mm-hmm. Uh, MC. Oh, and great preacher. Great, great preacher. preacher. Oh, great preacher. Oh, yes. And yeah. songwriter. He was, I, I don't want to say these words because I don't have a favorite, but he's my favorite. <laughs> he's my favorite. <laughs> well, he was, he was uh, one of mine, too. Yeah, and, he's great. Uh, he, uh, he was instrumental in, in keeping that TV station mm -hmm. going, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was in the background, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. a lot. And, uh, uh, so he, he knew how to use the, the media Very and, smart. and this kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, that, that came yeah. from Jerry Goff. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, so he, he, Jerry was, two Jerry's in my life mm -hmm. were great mentors, Jerry mm -hmm. Goff and Jerry Forster. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jerry Goff used the media uh, probably as well as anybody I know. Right. Right. And, and one of the greatest MC not just in Southern Gospel, but period. Yeah, absolutely. Just period. Absolutely. He is, he is missed. And you know what's so sad? He had the whole world going for him. He had everything in the world except a healthy heart. Right. And his heart gave out. Right. And they couldn't do a heart transplant. They couldn't do the things that would have kept him here. But don't you know that heaven was happy the day he got there? Oh, yeah. They were like, oh, we got somebody knows what's going on now. <laughs> we got and, somebody can manage this place. And he was another one. Uh, I, I mentioned that Jerry... Forster and I talked every week. Jerry Goff and I talked every mm -hmm, week, mm -hmm. and it was always encouragement. Yes, you know, yes. From what both an of encourager. Guys, yeah, you know. yeah. And uh, Jan and I talked not real often, not mm -hmm. like Jerry and I do, <laughs> but I do talk to Jan some, you know. And, mm -hmm. and uh, she needs your prayer. She's, you know, she's still. It's tough. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough yeah. for her. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I got tickled because um, Joe Kelly McCutcheon was a, a big cheerleader of mine for years and years and years. And he used to tell me, he said, you can do anything. You can do yeah. anything. And I thought, can I really? And he said, you can do anything. He said, you ought to be on national TV. You can do anything. And I, and I thought, if you hear that enough, then you begin to believe yeah. in yourself. And I yeah. think that's one of the encouraging things about Jerry Goff. He encouraged others to dig deep and find what they could do yeah. that was, he was the best MC and he was the best at co-hosting a program. He would tell you to find what works for you and to dig down and do it, yeah. to do it.
You do need to talk to them folks down there about doing some Thursday night. Oh, I would love to. I did yeah. I did a Seniors Day with Betty Cornette. Yeah. Yes, I would love to do it again. I, my big thing, yeah. and we got tickled, because I grew up in Atlanta and Orlando. I grew up around tons and tons of traffic. But once you become a ball groundian, <laughs> And you have this little circle. I got this circle I live in, and I love my circle. And I don't uh -huh. want to get out of my circle. I, I do about a 45-mile radius, and that's about it. Well, I got Travis and Alicia to drive me down the last time I did WATC. Yeah. And I said, Travis, Brother Travis, you got to drive me because I don't like driving down there. It's so weird because then I ended up listing a house right by Lenox Square, and I had to drive down there about every day. And I'm like, <laughs> now, Lord, this is not funny. You've sent me to a place <laughs> off of Lenox Road. This is yeah. crazy. But <coughs> WATC is still that strong powerhouse yeah. of good Christian television. And you can see it here on ETC yeah. on Channel 59, I believe. Yeah. I believe that's right. And ETC is one of those, um, this company chooses to air programs that are of good faith. And, right. and WATC is just that, so. You mentioned Betty Cornett and Patricia uh, Pat, mm -hmm. uh, love Mathis. Them. Love them, love them, love them. Uh, they keep that thing going. Love them, you know. love them, yeah, precious. Yeah. And you know, my director, Fred Wyndham, started WATC at his home yeah. in Woodstock, Georgia. That's yes. where it was founded, Woodstock, yes, yeah. yes. And sadly, he has gone to be with Jesus, and my gosh, every day I want to pick up the phone and call him, and I can't. Heaven doesn't have telephones. I don't understand that, but they don't, and I'd love to talk to Fred. Well, we're here. Can't wait to see him again. Yeah, so, we're... yeah, he's, he's, he was a precious, precious part of WATC, and, yeah. and when he, he came up with the vision to do it, he had, it's almost like he built a building about like this set is, and here we have this set, and then we have another set, and another set, and another set. And Fred did that in his compound at his home. And the first time I went in there and we worked in front of a green screen, I was just like, that is so weird. That is so weird. He said, what kind of background do you want? And I said, Paris. And then, well, what do you want? Well, I want to be in Kenya. Well, what do you want? You know? And it was so crazy how yeah. he could do that. Yeah. And, um, and he was cool. He was a cool dude when it came to equipment. Donovan would love to get into his building because he bought the highest high-end high-tech toys when they came out you talk about men and their boys and their toys that man loved high-tech toys <laughs> and he would say you won't believe what i've got and i've got a um a, 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 whatever that does this and we don't have to do this and i'm like don't tell me because i don't understand any of that stuff yeah. but but the media has done so much good and then occasionally there'll be some bad media i watched yeah. a little bad media last night on sean hannity when that woman was telling some stuff that wasn't true and, and they were letting her have it and it was kind of crazy and I thought, yeah, some of the media is not quite right, but but yeah, we are, we are blessed to have yeah. Christian television still alive in, the, yes. in America today. I uh, had a radio station uh, that I use to announce. WLJA? Our, no. No, uh, another one. Yeah, that announced, uh, I have 15 or 20 that I use mm -hmm. and got an email yesterday, they have stopped. Uh, we're not playing Southern Gospel anymore. Why? I, I didn't say and I didn't ask. You know, oh my I just, goodness. Uh, sad. Uh, How sad? It yeah. wasn't WEBS over in Calhoun, was no. it? No. Okay. No. Uh, wow. But, wow, that is sad. Yeah, and and I don't know what they're playing. I don't know if they're replacing. Is it Cornelia? Uh, no. No, okay. Uh, but now they've cut way, way yes, back. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Uh, yeah. It's one of the stations. And it's a good have. station and they cut back. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't get uh, it. I don't get it. But they, I don't know if they're using, if they've replaced the Southern Gospel with a contemporary or, or a praise and worship or, you know, Do a I little of all of it. Yeah, yeah I, do a little I, of yeah, all of it. it well, we got to remind y'all again, this is April the 30th. Widows, widowers, you are invited to Hickory yes. Flat Fellowship Hall at yes. the Church of God. Yes. And you show up and you eat free. You get blessed. You get hugged. You get a, a full concert by Glory Bound. And when you leave there, you will feel very loved. Yeah, very, I very hope loved. So. Yeah, hope so. yeah. It is amazing. How many? How many years? Four, five years? This will be our sixth year. Now we weren't years. able to do it the last two years. So because of COVID. Only, yeah. yeah. This actually only be the fourth time we've done it, but it's over a period of six mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. And and even if you're not a widow or a widower, and and your mama, your daddy, your brother, sister, neighbor, somebody from your church, just somebody you know that's a widow or widower. I don't care Brandon. what age, yeah, yeah. a friend, I don't care what age they are. <clears throat> if, 
but if they're not able to drive themselves, share this information with all of them. But if you know somebody that, that uh, can't drive and come, if, if you'll bring them, we'll feed you too. We're not going to let you leave. Right. You know, not fed. And, and you know, so. And you know, that's the sad thing when, when you think about that. I know an elderly lady who would love to go places, but she doesn't have a car anymore. Right. And she would love to go. And so it's cool if you do know a neighbor that you could take. And it's great that y'all would feed that person who yeah, brings them we, to. We would so, love for you yeah. to do that and be, and be most grateful if you did do that. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you, you can't get to everybody. We you can. can't find everybody. Mm -hmm. I think about a precious <coughs> lady that sat in front of me at church. <coughs> and, and I just loved her. And I loved the way she dressed. And I loved how cool she was. And, and uh, I, I just loved her. And she went on to be with the Lord during the COVID mess. And, and then her husband just celebrated his 90th birthday last week. And I just thought what a blessing they were to me to just be sitting in front of me because she always came over and hugged me every Sunday. Yeah. Those, those elderly folks mean a lot. Oh, yeah. They mean a lot. And if, in assisted living uh, facilities, you know, that we, we have one or two that bring busloads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, if your parents or somebody you know is in assisted living, you know, share the information with that facility and, mm -hmm. and see if you can convince them <coughs> to, to bring the widows and widowers from mm -hmm. there. There you go. Uh, I'm going to call that. Rhonda at Country Garden. I, I haven't seen a van that they have a vehicle there. I don't know if they have transportation, but I'm going to ask her because that would be really neat. Yeah. They have about uh, 45 or 50 patients, not patients there, residents there. Yeah. Residents. There's a difference yeah. in a residence and a patient. Yeah. You know what today's been? It's been old home day. It's been yeah. old home day. We had Jerry Forrester here. We loving him. And we're going to end today with a little bit of music from something that Donovan Jones produced years and years ago. And we're going to leave you now with it. It's about veterans. You're a veteran, aren't you? I am. And I thank you very much to each and every veteran. And I want you to listen now. This is something that Donovan produced many, many years ago, and it has been um, a great way to share our love and our thank yous to every veteran in America today. We are so blessed because you served and you cared enough to protect America. Thank you so much for serving, and I hope to see you again soon, only on ETC. Thank you for being here. Thank you I for love you. Me. I yes, love you. Love here you we too. go. A dream when I heard a voice calling out, we can do better in America. We've forgotten who we are, and we're gonna lose our country if we don't fix what's wrong in America. Big shot CEOs have moved their jobs to other countries. Gas prices are killing us in America. But we still love our promised land and we're gonna keep believing that we can do better in America. Cause we are Americans when we're down, we must rise, we must come back to greatness, honor truth instead of lies. If we wanna lead the world again, we've got to lead ourselves and we've just got to do better in America. If life Instead of war, the house out of order doesn't work right anymore. An eye for an eye just leaves everybody blind. We can do better in America and better for mankind. This is America. This is no time for apathy. It's time to face reality. Who's